All right, so today we're gonna get our meta human here to walk around and run around like you see the mannequin doing uh, here. I'll put kind of an image here of what that looks like. And we, so we're gonna transfer all of this movement animation to our meta human so that it works in the third person view. So we've got our meta human in our project. I'll link that video in the description if you haven't seen that, or it'll be over here on one of the top sides. Uh, if you haven't seen that video on how to create a metahuman and put them into your Unreal project, what we want to do first is go to, let's just click on our metahuman once we've brought it into the project. Uh, you'll go over here right above my head, you'll see I'm clicking on body. And if we scroll down just a bit, there is right above my head, you'll see skeletal mesh. Uh, I'm gonna click, double click on that. I'm gonna go to the skeleton here. Um, and you'll see that you, you, it's kind of weird. You just see his pants. Uh, if we click on character, go over to bones, we can do all hierarchy. Um, and what we want to do here is go, you, you will probably see skeleton tree right here. You just click on retarget manager. If you don't already see it in this left pane here, click on it here and it'll appear. We want to go to select rig, go to select humanoid rig. And we want to change just a few things here. Uh, first, for the source of spine one, we want to change that to spine two. Spine two, we want to change to spine three. And spine three, we want to change to spine four. Uh, and I'll turn on the, the bone names here, and you can see spine one, two, three, and four. For the regular humanoid rig, spine one and two for the source. Or where spine two, three, and four are for our meta human. So we're just kind of aligning those bones properly so that all the animations look right uh, whenever we go to retarget them. And then if we go under show advanced uh, for each of the fingers here, we want to change index one to index metacarpal, index two to index one, and index three to index two. We're gonna do that for each of the fingers here. So I'll just speed up the video. And then thumb one, two, and three, we just leave alone. Let's go down to the right hand and do the same thing. Metacarpal number two to number one and number three to two. And then the thumbs we leave alone. Everything else looks right. We're gonna go ahead and save this. Let's go to skeleton tree, select options and show retargeting options. The first two, the root and pelvis, we want to just be set to animation. And then if you right click on spine, you can do recursively set translation retargeting skeleton so that it changes all these to skeleton. We want all the rest of them to be skeletons. So let's go to thigh right. We're gonna set that again. And then if we go thigh left, we'll set that again. And then the very last one here, we have to set to skeleton. So now, all of those are set to skeleton. The first two are set to animation. We're gonna save that. Now that we're done with that, let's minimize this window and let's go to mannequin, animations, and animation blueprint. That's gonna bring this up, but we wanna click on skeleton. So now I've got the skeleton in this tab for the mannequin and my metahuman skeleton here. So for the uh, mannequin skeleton, all we're gonna do is pretty much the same thing. Go to retarget manager, select rig, select humanoid rig. We don't have to change anything because it's already set up for the humanoid uh, target. We'll go to skeleton tree. Let's just save it. Show retargeting. These first two should be animation. Everything else should be skeleton and it is. So now if we go to uh, view pose, you can see it's in that perfect A pose. It's exactly what we want. So we'll just save that. Go back to our meta human. Uh, I'm gonna hide the bone names so that we can see what's going on here. Go to retarget manager. Before we view the pose though, let's go to uh, use current pose. And then you'll see that it already hits view pose for us. We can see it's in that perfect A frame. We can hide the pose, save it. And now the two skeletons are set up uh, so that the animations will run properly. All right, so now let's get rid of this window. Let's go back to our content folder, We're back to MetaHuman in our Zachary folder. We have Zachary here. We're actually going to remove 
Zachary from uh, this this spot here. So let's just click on Zachary, delete. We are going to right click in the Zachary folder to create a new blueprint. We want to set a character blueprint here. And I'm going to call it blueprint character Zachary. All right, so let's open that up and let's also open up the Zachary blueprint. And what I'm gonna do, so let's just start with the event graph uh, here for Zachary. I'm just gonna copy all of this, go back to my character Zachary, go to the event graph, and I'm just gonna paste it in there. It'll ask me if I wanna keep this. Let's do create matching function, confirm, Bring this here and then for event begin play, we'll just hook that up to there. And uh, now let's go to our Zachary blueprint again. Let's go to AR kit setup. We'll just copy this, go back to our character blueprint, pull up AR kit. You can see that it's there. We'll connect this AR kit setup. If I zoom in here, AR kit setup to the cast to face animation blueprint. All right. And now let's go to enable master pose. We'll want to create that. Actually, first, let's go to our construction script. We're going to copy what's in there. Go to construction script here. Paste that in. It's going to say, do you want to bring over the matching function or enable master pose? Yes, we do. And we're just going to connect that construction script to enable master pose. Now let's go over to enable master pose. We'll copy that. Go back to enable master pose here. We will put that here and we're going to connect enable master pose to this. We need to connect this to the target, this to this target, and there's one more over here that we need to connect. Now, if we compile this, let's take a look. It looks like there's some variables we need to bring over. So we can copy this variable, right click here and put paste variable, not local variable, but just paste variable. Copy this other face head, paste variable, Compose, it looks like we've got a couple of more. Ah, we have to move over our uh, body and everything else. So let's, uh, I just selected the body here. Hold down select and click on level of detail sync and then control C will copy that. And then under our mesh, let's just control V and it will move everything there. Now, if we compile, you can see it brings everything in there. I'll go to viewport so you can see this. You can see our character is actually kind of off a little bit. We can select the body here and just bring him into that capsule view. And you can see that the arrow component is, is looking a different way. We just need to, again, select the body here and just turn him uh, by 270 degrees. On the, road, on the Z rotation, and that will get him facing in the right direction. Um, and to be able to kind of look from his vantage point, we need to go to add component. Uh, we'll type in camera, and that will add a camera here. And just drag this up, drag it back a little bit, and that'll be good enough for right now. So let's compile, save. Everything looks good on our compiler results. We can get rid of that. And now let's drag our blueprint character Zachary here. You can see it pops in just fine. One more thing we want to do. Let's actually open up our character Zachary blueprint again, minimize it, go back to content, go to third person blueprint under blueprints. We'll open up the third person blueprint and the event graph. We just want to copy all of the things under the third person character blueprint uh, for the event graph. Go back to our event graph for our character, Zachary. I'll just paste this further down so it doesn't impact anything. And just keep it there. 
if you compile, you'll see some errors because we don't have our, or our variables. So let's copy this variable again, paste variable, uh, and then copy the base lookup rate. We'll paste that into there as well. And we can compile it again. And everything looks fine in our results. If you get something that says like, uh, could not target self because it wasn't a character. That means when you went to create the blueprint, you selected a pawn instead of a character. So you just need to backtrack, make sure you add it as a character, go back to those steps, and that error won't be there anymore. So let's compile, we'll save, get rid of that. Now let's go click on our mannequin here, delete that. Now let's go to our content folder again. We wanna to go to mannequin animations and we basically wanna take this full animation for running and walking and everything else and port it over to uh, our Zachary blueprint. So we are going to right click on this, retarget animation blueprints, duplicate animation blueprints and retarget. You'll see our meta human skeleton pop up there. That's what we want. I'm going to change the folder to go under meta humans. I like to save everything under the Zachary or whatever the name of the meta human is. So I'll click OK and then we'll retarget. It'll take us to our Zachary folder. Now you can see everything there. Uh, if we click on our character blueprint and we go to body, uh, I think you can see this. Let me just move over just a bit. Uh, so you can under body, you'll see the animation section. Click on use uh, animation asset and instead change it to animation blueprint. And we're gonna change this to be third person animation blueprint. Uh, if you click on this little magnifying glass and it takes you to the mannequin, that's not the right one. Go back and choose the other one. Click on this little spy glass there and you'll see it'll take you to the right animation blueprint and the character actually changes into that position that we want to see as well. All right, I'm going to save everything now and I'm going to click on blueprint Zachary, uh, character Zachary. We just go all the way down. Uh, we want to auto receive input for player zero. And also auto possess player, player zero. And if we are to click play, we should see Zachary moving around. So now all the, the jumping and the running and walking that our mannequin did, our metahuman can do as well. All right, so that's how we get our metahuman to walk and run just like our mannequin does. Make sure to drop a like and follow. It really helps the channel and we'll see you in the next video.